It's a quick turnaround, but we're going again. Overlook Horizon 8 is launching today. <laughs> Tori here from Overlook Horizon. It's flight day for our fourth flight of 2017. Overlook Horizon 8, nicknamed Rectify. The name Rectify for this flight represents today's primary objective, which is to resolve the radio transmission issues that we experienced on Flight 7. Our last flight seemed to launch perfectly and proceeded for an entire hour without any issues. However, less than halfway into our flight, we began experiencing a power cycle issue that caused our main computer to continuously reboot throughout the remainder of the flight. And we were unable to receive positioning reports. We're not exactly sure of the cause of this, but we've got some pretty good theories on what may have contributed to this, which we'll be testing on today's flight. Our computer restarts occurred consistently at the moment the radio transmission started. The radio transmitter is the most power hungry device on our flight computer. So we believe our board was suffering from a brief voltage drop that occurred the moment the transmitter started broadcasting and using more power from the batteries. We've had a tough time replicating this on the ground though, as the batteries perform perfectly at ground level. So what changes during flight? Well, mainly the temperature. Batteries in general are notorious for having reduced performance in cold temperatures. One of the best ways to avoid this issue is to use a set of lithium batteries to power the payload, which perform well in cold temperatures down to negative 40 degrees. These are great and definitely where we recommend starting if you're launching your own flight. Side note, you'll notice I didn't mention whether it was negative 40 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. And that's because negative 40 degrees is the magic point where both Celsius and Fahrenheit scales meet to represent the same value. Anyways, this year we decided to switch to high performance lithium ion ion batteries, mainly due to their ability to recharge after the flight so we can launch and test all with the same batteries without having to constantly buy new batteries. These batteries only operate down to negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 20 degrees Celsius, but it's not that concerning for us. We've measured temperatures as low as negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 60 degrees Celsius during our flights but our payload is pretty well insulated. We rarely even drop below freezing during the flight on the inside of the payload package. On Overlook Horizon 7 though, we reached below freezing temperatures much sooner than we had in the past. This was partly due to one of the cameras not powering on for launch. We still got great footage on the last flight, but the cameras provide valuable heating inside the payload during the flight as one of the biggest heat sources. One of the first things we wanna to change today is to make sure that all cameras are running at launch time. The other big change for this flight is that we're adding some additional capacitors to our power rail on the circuit board. Capacitors store energy in an electric field and charge up within a second or two after receiving power. They come in handy particularly during voltage drop events. If the battery needs a moment to catch up to the increased load, the capacitor can fill in for a brief moment to smooth out the power supply and keep things running. We're talking microseconds here. We hope the capacitors will be able to bridge the gap that occurs during the radio transmissions to keep the board running continuously throughout the flight. Lastly, today's flight will be using another 1200 gram balloon with a much smaller 600 gram backup balloon. We should be heading over 100,000 feet again on this flight if all goes well. We're expecting a flight time of about 2 hours and 45 minutes and today's flight is expected to land just 5 miles downrange of our launch site. So we're hoping to set a new personal record for our shortest downrange recovery today. Previously, our shortest downrange recovery was 17.6 miles on Overlook Horizon 2. So that's what's happening today. We've got just one more flight planned after today for 2017, which will occur in the afternoon on Monday, August 21st during the total solar eclipse in North America. So make sure you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date on those flights. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our live broadcasts, our in-flight videos, or the educational series videos we'll have in between flights. So what do you guys think about today's flight? Do you think our electrical fixes will rectify our broadcast issues, or do you think this flight will be lost to the Animoi? Those are the Greek wind gods. It'll be a nail biter, so follow along today to find out, and let us know what you think will go down in the comment section down below. If you like this flight and you like what we do, hit that thumbs up button. If you want to learn more about today's flight, check out the links in the description below. Thanks again for watching, we'll see you in the next video.